Hey, this is Lasse from Pihka Sound. I just wanted to make a quick spontaneous video because I just saw a really good YouTube video about uh, recording without latency in Ableton. It's by this great YouTuber called Seed to Stage. You, you should uh, subscribe to him. You should watch his videos. They are great. Um, I kind of knew that Ableton records with uh, latency burnt into your tracks. And uh, I have been kind of like not minding it because I'm using RME Radat, like a PCI Express um, interface that allows me to record with like super low latencies. Like if I have the buffer size at uh, 64, I have a latency of like 3.44 milliseconds. And uh, it's definitely okay when, if you have that kind of a latency when you're uh, recording vocals or piano or guitars. But if you're recording um, like hardware drum machines, then if you want to layer those drum machines with something from your computer, it's going to be a problem because if you have like two kicks that are a little bit out of phase with each other, they're going to be, you're going to lose your bottom end. And you know, that's just like a recording mistake. Um, and I've been, I've been recording like that with the latency on. But um, then just moving, <laughs> moving the recorded tracks um, in phase with the, with the mm, like the software tracks that I have, which is uh, not really a really good workflow. In this video, Seat to Stage shows a way how to record without latency in Ableton Live. It has to do with Ableton's monitoring, <laughs> like. Uh, Mm, well, you could watch that video, but I, I'm just going to quickly show show you uh, the problem here. If I record uh, these all of these tracks um, from the same input, like this, and for this track I'm going to have the monitoring in, and this track I'm going to have the monitoring in, on auto, and on this track I'm going to have the monitoring on off. And now if I record like this, Yeah, the tracks are going to be in different. All of these tracks are in different time, <laughs> which is like, what? The red track is uh, in perfect time. And the one that I recorded with automatic monitoring is off by <laughs> by my latency amount, which is 3.44 milliseconds. It's not a problem, but uh, when I'm just clapping my hands or singing. But if this were a kick, it's going to be out of phase. These two kicks are going to be out of phase, and that's 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 not acceptable. I thought about this a lot after I saw uh, Seeds of Stages video, and the way I'm going to be recording vocalists starting next week um, is having a separate monitoring channel and recording to a um, another channel with the monitoring off. I'm going to show it to you. This is how I usually record my vocals. I, like I have this um, template, uh, user library templates. I have this Pifka uh, Studio template, summer 2020. I'm going to take my vocal tracks from there, like this. I'm going to degroup them. You can degroup in Ableton, ungroup by Control Shift G. Handy. Okay, so I'm gonna make uh, like th this is how I usually record vocals. By the way, I have um, like these two tracks that I actually record the vocals to. Recording on. I will record like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Then I'm gonna move it here to my spare track. Uh, then another take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then move it to the spare track and so forth. And then I'm going to cut uh, the, the actual vocal track from these these takes. Like if Ableton had uh, playlist processing like um, Pro Tools or Logic, comp takes like Logic, this would be easier. But uh, I've gotten really used to this workflow, so it's it's not a problem for me to do it like this. But I am. I have been recording everything with latency burned into the tracks up until now. <laughs> I'm not going to do that from now on. I'm going to have the recording tracks on off. Then I'm going to make another track, Control T or Command T. And I'm going to call this monitor track. 
I'm going to be listening to that. And uh, I'm going to be recording these. And since the monitoring is off, um, I'm not going to be recording the track with latency. For the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to be recording the monitor track as, track as well, so we can see the latency in there. Like that. There is the latency here on the monitor, and I'm pretty sure that the vocalist is not going to notice uh, 3.44 millisecond latency when uh, he or she is singing, but uh, I just want to be able to record without the latency burnt in. Um, and I think that Ableton should be uh, minding this matter at some point. Why Why would people want to record with latency burnt in? I mean, I know that they have these things like reduced latency when monitoring and delay compensation, but th this doesn't remove the, the, the recording with the latency issue. Okay, so if you want to check out uh, my music, my band's music. It's called Bihka Is My Name. You can find the music at bihkaismyname.com. I'm also going to leave some links below. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.